Well, the range of roles that I perform here is I see people who are traumatised, usually through um, some sort of act of violence or a motor vehicle accident or industrial industrial accident, and I also work with people who are grieving and um, have experienced loss in quite often a very sudden and dramatic way. Um, a sudden death, um, and especially in our society, you don't expect your partner or your brother or your sister to go to work and never, never return home. You know, it's not like it's a war zone. Um, and when you say goodbye to them in the morning, expect them to come back. We're all responsible. As employer, as employee, we need to take responsibility for our own actions. We need to be sure of anything that you're doing. If you're unsure, speak to your mate next to you that you're working with. Speak to, to your boss. If you can't speak to your boss, you can ring WorkSafe. Ring WorkSafe and insist that they come out and do an inspection if you see something there that is completely unsafe. Well, every worker has a, a right to a safe environment. That's an absolute right around the world and it's a right enshrined in our health and safety legislation. Um, if, there is, um, a, a, if a person's placed in a situation they believe to be unsafe, they have the right to stop work, to remove themselves from that hazardous situation, be it an um, unsafe building, a person they're working with, a client or whatever, um, they should have the right, and they do have the right to get out of there. The whole system of safety in workplaces hangs on one fundamental foundation, and that is the people who do the work know the most about it and they're the ones when they see something which is not right or they're not sure about they have to speak up and raise the issue. Raise it with a workmate, a manager, someone more senior, a health and safety rep when you're in a large workplace but the whole system of health and safety in a, in a civilised society like ours is predicated on people saying I'm not sure about that, that doesn't seem right to me, I haven't done this before, that doesn't look right, can someone have a look at this? We need people to raise these issues. Management on occasions may not address the problem immediately. That of course is of great concern. In those situations, the worker should contact their oh &S representative or speak to their union or in fact speak to WorkSafe, which is a regulatory body in Victoria which conducts safety inspections at work sites. Whatever the circumstances, silence is not the answer in this situation. It's very important that the worker act and not say stay silent on this issue. Look, there is a concern that we hear often that if you raise an issue, you might jeopardise your job, you might find yourself looking for work and, and obviously having a job is a really important part of our, of our community. If a worker is dismissed by reason of him complaining about an unsafe work environment or in fact refuses to work in that environment, then that worker may have rights uh, by way of an unfair dismissal claim. But perhaps more relevant here is that it also possibly breaches the o Occupational Health and Safety Act. Under that act, it's unlawful for an employer to sack a worker in circumstances where that worker is being forced to work in an unsafe environment. First message to any trainee is that you have rights and that no one can take them away. Your right is to a safe workplace, your right is to have a say, your right is to say, no, I'm not going to do that. Next thing is to know that you're not alone, that you have resources and assistance. Unions represent young workers as well as middle-aged, as well as older workers, as well as people re-entering the workforce and people entering it for the first time. Get some support. Make sure you're not alone because you're not meant to be alone. I think the message I would have to workers out there about safety is that um, I see people every day who have had somebody killed or died and one of the things that they always say to me is I didn't expect this to happen. We are the custodians of the health and safety law. It's our job to make sure there are consequences for those who don't do the right thing.